Hey guys, it's Sammy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my biannual bibliothon TBR. I am so excited for the biannual bibliothon. Sadly, I have been really busy this year, so I haven't been able to pre film a lot of the videos that I wanted to do, but hopefully, I can put out at least two, maybe three videos next week. If none go up, I suck, but that's also a probability as well. But hopefully I can at least part participate in the read-along and finish maybe a couple of these books. So I'm really excited to get into it. I hope you guys are all excited for the videos I'm hoping to post. But yeah, let's get into the books I plan to read. Hi, kitty. Hi. So starting off with the group book. <laughs> Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco. This is the group book. I do hope to read it, although I currently don't own it. I was thinking about picking it up on ebook. If I can find it and I can get it, then I do want it and I do want to read it, but I don't know if it's going to be during this readathon. Regardless, this is going to be an amazing book to read whenever I do read it. This is a historical fiction set in the 18th century um, in London and about this girl who becomes fascinated with death and specifically Jack the Ripper. So, I'm really interested in serial killers and all that creepy shit, so let's hope that I do get to this eventually. Okay, so the first real challenge in this is called the Throwback Challenge. So basically you just pick a reading challenge from any of the past biennial bibliothons and you try to complete that challenge. If you've been on my channel for a while, you will know that I did sort of participate in the Summer Biennial Bibliothon this year. I put out two videos, I think? And I'd read, I think, maybe one or two books during the week, and I'm pretty sure I only finished one. And the other one I DNF'd. But anyway, the challenge I'm going to be picking is from that readathon, and is read a book that features your favorite mythical creature. And I'm actually going to be using the same book I used, that being City of Fallen Angels by Cassandra Clare. No, I haven't finished the Mortal Instruments series yet. Am I even a real reader? No, clearly not. I'm also using this book for another challenge in this readathon, and that is read a book for you that you are really excited for but never picked up. Literally me. Like, I finished the first three books and I was like, oh my god, I can't wait to finish up the series, and then I didn't, and now it's been a year. It's been almost a year since I finished this book. Like, the first three books. Tragic, honestly, tragic challenge is read a book that a booktuber recommends to you. Now let me first say that most of the books I pick up nowadays are books that booktubers have recommended to me. This this was really easy I guess. I just picked a book that I saw on my shelf that I wanted to get to soon. And for this one I am doing Three Dark Crowns by Kendara Blakes. Recently I've seen Reagan from the Peruse Project rave about this book and I'm so excited to get to it. It is pretty short and it's about three queens that have to fight to the death for the crown, the crown, the crown. Me trying to mix crown and throne. And I just heard it's really good and it's like, not like too like action packed, but it's more of like with political interest. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to pick this up. I think it's going to be a super fun read, obviously. But I'm really excited because then I can anticipate the book coming out, the next book coming out this year. And it's going to be really great. Anyway, yeah, I want to read this soon. Hopefully for this challenge, we will see. The next book that I'm going to be reading I'm using for two challenges, those challenges being read a diverse book and read a retelling. And that is The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adier. This is a retelling of 1001 Nights and it is diverse due to the setting as well as the main character's ethnicity and culture. This is also a own voices novel which is just amazing and I think this is just going to be a really great read to like to set off all the di diverse reads I am planning to read this year, so hopefully this will start my year off right and I really love it, and hopefully, if I really love it, I can read the book that is going to fit this next challenge. And the next challenge is read a 2016 release, and for that challenge I am hoping to read The Rose and the Dagger by Renee Adier, aka the sequel to The Wrath and the Dawn. Hopefully I will like The Wrath and the Dawn, if I don't then that would suck. I'm hoping to read this for that challenge. I'm hoping that I love it as much as the other ones. And once again, like it's not really that long. I think it's, it, people rave about it. So I think it's gonna be good. I hope, I, I, I don't know, I don't know. The plot's really interesting. The plot of these two books 
Prince likes to like marry these girls from this town and all these girls keep going to marry the prince and then the next day they're like gone murdered or gone I don't know like that's part of the mystery but then the protagonist in this novel goes and gets married to the prince but then she wakes up the next morning and she's okay what's the secret I don't know I'm really excited to read it if you can't tell so that's it for my TBR hopefully I can get to read all these books hopefully I will actually accomplish my goals probably not what a great attitude no I really do hope I can read all these books if I read no books whatsoever, I really, really need to read City of Fallen Angels. If I don't read any of the other books, I will still be okay as long as I finish City of Fallen Angels. Man. If I don't, then that really sucks. Either way, super excited. Hopefully I can get to most of these books. Don't know. Also tune in next week, so hopefully that you will see videos that have to pertain to the Biennial Bibliothon. Crossing fingers. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, all of my social media links are down below. Comment down below what you guys are going to be reading for the Biennial Bibliothon if you are participating. And yeah, bye!